hello friends welcome back to my channel if you have not subscribed my channel till now then please subscribe my channel today we are going to learn about methods overloading and overriding in java first i'll tell you about overloading and then overriding so let's start what is overloading when we have two or more methods in same class with different signature is known as method overloading now let's see how we can implement this while coding so for that i'm going to create a project and i'm going to file new java project and i'm going to name it as try to catch and now i'm going to create a class new and class and i'm going to name it as calculation So here is our class. I'm going to create main method, and here it is. Now, as I said, for overloading, we must have two methods, but with different signatures. So I'm going to create void add. And I have created a method, and I'm now I'm going to create same method and here it is now it is giving error as duplicate method add in type calculation so to resolve this as i said we should have two methods by the same name but having different signatures so right now we have the same signature so we need to change the signature of one of the methods so i am going to give arguments int a and int b now we have changed the signature for both the methods so that error has been resolved of duplicate methods so this is called method overloading now if i have the same signature like i am going to give the same parameters also int a and b so let's see what we will get so again we are getting the error of the duplicate because here we have the same signature again so to change the signature i am going to just change the number of parameters here so i am going to give another argument which is in c so again the signature has been changed and that error has been resolved now let's see if i am going to make same signature again and again we are getting the same error which is duplicate method so to resolve this i am going to change the uh, data type here and i am going double so that error has been again resolved so here we have first method which is add and which has no argument it is valid so for overloading i have created again the same method by the name add and given the two parameters which is int again i have created add method and having three parameters to change the signature of the previous methods again i have created the add method and just i have changed the data type of one of the argument so these are the condition by which we are satisfying the requirement of method overloading one more thing here we called method overloading as compile time polymorphism so now what is polymorphism for that i have created another video so you can just click over the i button and you can see what is polymorphism so now why we are calling method overloading as compile time polymorphism because while writing the code in eclipse it is compiling parallelly so if i have the same method again before running it is giving us the error so it means it is compile time polymorphism so i am going to delete this again and this is our valid method overloading example now i am going to print something in each method syso control space first sorry why it's not printing 
first method with no argument yes for yes so second method with two int arguments that's why so third method with three int arguments SYSO and fourth method with one double and two int arcs. So now I am going to call it. So let me maximize it. Yeah. Now I need to create object of calculation class. So calc equals to new calculation. So now I'm going to call each and every method. So first we have the add. So I have just called it. Second one is having two in parameters so I am going to give very so I am going to give values one and two calc dot this one third one double so one two and three and again calc dot and uh, then this one so one two and three now I'm going to run this code. So here is our console. So we are getting all the print statements. First method with having no arguments. Second with two integers. Third one with three integers. And again I have called third one. Okay. So why it is again calling the third parameter? Because the data types in this is int. So it is referring to this one which is having the print statement third method with three integers so i need to pass over here as double so i am casting here double now it will refer to the fourth one so here it is so how i have done this just press control and click over the add method and it will go to the referring method so now i am going to run it again and here it is so fourth method with one double and two int argument so these are the examples of method overloading